Hi, my name is Arvind Vora, and I'm an educator and entrepreneur from Bethesda, Maryland. For the last 10 years, I've run the education business Arvind Vora Education. And working at this company, I've seen a bizarre uh, fact that exists in education. In high school, our schools are among the worst in the entire world. And yet in college, our colleges are the envy of the entire world. So what's happening in that gap? I mean, what is happening between June of a person's senior year and September of the freshman year in college? What is happening in those three months? How is our education system completely transforming in that tiny space of time? Now, I know some of you are probably thinking it has to do with money. And I don't think it actually is about money because in America, we spend more per student than almost any other country in the entire world more than Japan, more than Korea, more than England, France, Germany, any country that you've heard of, we spend more than that country. So if it's not the amount of money, then what is it? I mean, you can look at the schools in America that get the most money. I mean, Washington, D.C. spends more per student than almost any other school in the, any, any other district in the entire country. And yet, the Washington, D.C. schools are among the worst in the entire country. So what is this difference? I think it's the five words, the five and a half words, that have made America great. And those five and a half words have given us all the things that we treasure, whether it's our great colleges, or our TVs, our computers, our books, our novels, our literature, our chocolates, our restaurants, you name it, those five and a half words have made all those areas great. And in areas where you don't have those five and a half words, you feel that something's missing, something's not as good in those where you don't have those five and a half words. So what are those five and a half words? They're, I'll take my business elsewhere. You see, if you don't like a coffee shop, you can just take your business elsewhere, go to one you like more. And that encourages coffee shops to be as good as they can, to give you the best possible service that they can. If you don't like a computer, you can buy a different brand of computer. If you don't like a university, you can transfer to another university. But if you don't like your public high school in Maryland, if you, for example, live in inner city Baltimore, which has some of the worst public high schools in the entire country, you're stuck. You can't say that unless you happen to be wealthy enough to spend $25,000 a year or $30,000 a year on a private school. What I like to do is give those words back to you. No matter how rich or poor you are, you should be able to say, I'll take my business elsewhere when you're dealing with the most important thing in your child's life, which is his education. And how can we do that? Well, what I've promoted is something called a voucher system. A voucher system is certainly not the only way to create this, but it's, it's, it's a good way to, to create it. And a voucher is basically a gift certificate that you can use on, on, a, on any school. You can use it to go to a public school. You can use it to go to a private school. And because a voucher is actually usually less than the full tuition at a public school, you actually end up saving a lot of money. While you can't say, I'll take my business elsewhere yet in the public school system, you can say it in the political system. Republicans and Democrats have given you the Wall Street bailout, which they both supported. They've extended the war in Af Afghanistan. They've given you the Patriot Act, which is the most unpatriotic piece of legislation ever written. When you're at the polls this November, maybe you might want to think about taking your business elsewhere. But first, I'd like you to learn about the Libertarian Party and check out my website, which is votevora.com. That's V-O-T-E-V-O-H-R-A.com. My name is Arvind Vora, and I'm proud to be the District 15 Libertarian candidate for the Maryland House of Delegates.